What's up everybody, my name is Blake and welcome to Everything Except Nothing. Today I wanna to talk about these tensioners, these cordage tensioners. Okay, so because I don't wanna set up a tarp in the middle of my backyard, which is a disaster, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this column over here is a tree. And we're gonna use this tree to support, let's call it a tarp. So the, I already have the uh, paracord tied off to the tree and it is coming all the way over to here and this post over here is going to be our tarp or our tarp eyelet so I already have the cable pulled through and pulled through the tarp eyelet right here and we're gonna go ahead and make the connection and show you how this first style works we're gonna go ahead and pull a little bit of the slack out and make a loop now you're gonna take that loop and you're gonna put it through the small or the medium eyelet and you're gonna pull enough through that it can go all the way around the entire tensioner and pull back. And then you're gonna to wanna to pull these around so that the loop here is tight on one side. So now with that pulled, this still can slide back and forth if you had um, you know, a substantial amount of ten, uh, force on it. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to take this thing and spin it 360 degrees, which kind of puts a little twist in it, and that locks this into place, and now it can't go anywhere. So now that that's locked in place, we have the edge here that's going towards the tree, or I'm sorry, towards the tarp, and then we have our slack line, which is coming back. So we have the slack line coming back, and then all our slack on down here. So what you wanna do is make another loop, put it through the big eyelet, take that big eyelet, and the, and the important part of this is your slack side needs to be on the lower part of this big loop. And you're gonna to wanna to put it over the tiny eyelet hole, and then just pull. And you see what's gonna happen here, the more tension you pull on this, the tighter this system, this V between this, your tarp on the other end, and this other line here is gonna have, which is gonna drive this portion of the paracord down, which locks this into place, kind of. So the tighter you pull it, the tighter that's gonna lock. Okay? Now, just because I'm paranoid, I always like to wrap it over the top of this bottom loop, and this is already really tight right here, so then I pull this and snap it in the back, and now this sucker's not going anywhere. Okay, so to relieve the tension on this line, we're gonna just go ahead and pull down, which unlocks it here, the tension's gonna come off, unloop it, and now we're still kind of locked with the downward force from this part of the paracord to this part. So all we have to do to release that is twist it down and it comes loose. Then after that, it's just a matter of pulling your loop over and back through, going back the 360 degrees and then flipping it over, grabbing this end here, pulling out the slack and voila. It is free from the cordage system. So the second method is just putting the paracord through the end, like so. And you can tie a knot here, and then another knot, which gives you, you know, it's not gonna go through that little eyelet. Or you could pull through and, uh, you know, kinda do a, a loop like this either way um, I'll watch that too but now we have two ways of holding it here so this way is pretty simple it's just like any other type of tensioner all you're gonna really want to do is pull the slack out of the rope make a loop pull that loop through the big one around the eyelet and just pull forward.
and that gives you your tension. Now this way it doesn't give you as much leverage, but it does work, um, like I said, for tent lines or for something that you don't need quite as tight or with a finite amount of cord. To release it, just pull back, pull the slack out, release, pull back, and you're good to go. I picked up five of these, I believe, for a dollar on Wish. Now, the problem with Wish is everything comes really slow. Um, took, I believe, three, almost four weeks for me to get these, and I did pay shipping. So, said and done, I think I paid about a dollar a piece. Um, if you do want to pick them up on Amazon, the exact same brand is on Amazon. It's, uh, roughly the same price, and you'll get them in two days. So. If you prefer that method, then definitely check out the links in the description below as I am an Amazon affiliate and you can pick these up through that link. The three to one, is, I call it the three to one, I don't know what it's technically called, but the three to one is the method I prefer as I do like to not cut my cordage. The other method that you can use is not as sturdy. It's not, you can't pull as much tension, but it is used for more of a fixed length of um, amount of cordage. So this method is good for using in, let's say tying down your rain fly or producing a, uh, a, a line that doesn't need to be as tight as let's say a uh, rain tarp or hammock or you know, tarp for your hammock or anything that's gonna hold a lot of weight. Now these, the ones that I picked up are aluminum. They are not rated to hold uh, substantial weight. So if you're gonna use these to tie up a hammock that's gonna support a human, then I don't recommend them and they're not used for that. Now there are stainless steel uh, versions of this that I'll also link in the description below and those do those are load bearing so you can use um, those to support uh, a hammock or something of that nature but these are just the cheapos I picked them up it's my first set okay so those are the two methods that I know now there are probably a handful of other ways that you can use these and I don't know them at this point so if you guys have any suggestions on how you could utilize these in a better fashion then definitely please leave them in the comments section below and if you just have any general questions or comments definitely leave those in the comment section below as well if you're new to the channel please definitely think about subscribing as it does help the channel out and i will catch you guys on the next one thanks